It's a three-pointer, Mason. Dick Janikowski is such a big part of our history. People, when they come to the barn, it's such a great arena, such a great atmosphere, and he's a part of that. He'll forever be linked to Gopher Athletics and Gopher Basketball. Basket by coffee. People can't believe that when I tell them, I'm going to retire. In the barn, as we affectionately call it, we've had two public address announcers out of 89 years. It's amazing. And no other arena in the country can say that. Julie Pearl and myself, 58 years for Julie and I'm in my 31st. I was kind of scared when I first took over because Julie Pearl was such a legend. I remember after the first game I did, an elderly couple came over to me after the game. They said, you're no Julie Pearl. That's the first thing they said to me. And I thought, and I said, no, I'm ma'am, I'm sorry, but I said, we all have our style, our own style. And I said, I'll do the best I can. And at the end of that season, that same couple came over and said, you know, you did a great job. Right. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Take care. Yeah, you like it. You're a good guy. I love you. You're all yeah, I love you too. I'm hopeful that he feels how appreciative we are. He's such a great ambassador for our program. And again, he's one of those people, it doesn't matter if you're a 90-year-old fan of Gopher Athletics or you're a 10-year-old fan of Gopher Athletics. He just makes you smile. They honored me for 30 years of announcing. My family was on the court at halftime and they gave me a number 30 jersey and a nice video board and a, a staying ovation. I think great announcers are not noticeable during a game. We're gonna notice that Dick's not there. And I think that's the greatest compliment you can get somebody. It's been my life for 31 years. Probably a few tears will be shed by me. I'll tell you that, I can tell you. I'm sure, sorry, I'm sure that I'll cry a little bit.